Hey there! Welcome to today's lesson. Today, we will learn about length, and at the end of this lesson, you should be able to measure the length or width of a room, table, and other straight edged objects. Mention the importance of standard units of measurement. Find the perimeters of regular objects in meters and centimeters. And identify the perimeter of regular objects in their environment. This is Mr. Ibrahim. He is a carpenter and will make new desks for my school. To make the correct deck sizes, Mr. Ibrahim will use the length and width measurements of the old desk. Both length and width are used to measure the distance from one end to another. But length measures how long the distance is and width measures how wide the object is. For example, the distance from one goalpost to the other goalpost is the length of a football field. And the distance from one point to the other across the field is the width of the field. Mr. Ibrahim needs to measure the length and width of the old desks to get the correct measurements for how the new desks will be. There are two units of measuring length and width. They are non-standard units and standard units. Standard units of measurement are centimeters and meters, and we use rulers and tapes to measure. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. To get the measurement, Mr. Ibrahim uses a tape to measure a length of 76 centimeters and a width of 40 centimeters. He made the new furniture and it is the same size as the old furniture. Let's learn how to find the perimeter of an object. The perimeter of an object is the outline of the object. It is the distance around a shape. To find the perimeter of an object, you'll find the length of all sides. For example, if all the sides of this square are 4 cm long, the perimeter of this square will be 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 16. Therefore, the perimeter of the square is 16 cm. If all sides of this pentagon are 5 cm, the perimeter of the pentagon will be 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals 25 centimeters. Let's find the perimeter of this board. We start by measuring the sides of the board. Let's say the top and bottom are 40 centimeters long and 30 centimeters long for the left and right sides. The perimeter of the board will be 40 plus 30 plus 40 plus 30 equals 140 centimeters. We have come to the end of today's lesson. Today, we learned how to measure the length and width of a room, table, and other straight-edged objects. Find the perimeter of regular objects in meters and centimeters. Identify the perimeter of regular objects in their environment. And finally, we also learned the importance of standard units of measurement. It's assessment time! 